mentioned Sabrina has a night off, so mm -hmm. you're putting your weather hat on. Yeah. And we should also mention that you're not new at weather. You've been yeah. doing this for some time. Yeah, I've did, I did this four years uh, in Sacramento. I did it also in Reno for a couple yeah. of years. So and it shows. It's fun to get back right into <laughs> it, you know. <laughs> of course, we miss Sabrina. Welcome no to her back as soon as she can. But here's what's happened today. We had some activity to talk about. Look at the skies there. Here's what it looked like from San Diego State University. Those are big thunder clouds. So the weather service saying there was some rotation out there in those clouds. They sent us these pictures today and uh, looks like there was no funnel cloud activity, but look at the radar. They were watching that very closely because, yes, there was a chance. They were keeping an eye up there, possibly some funnel clouds, but nope, they said just rotation, and that's all because of the instability in the air, and we did get plenty of that today, especially of the mountains and the desert. So as far as our forecast today goes, yeah, we saw some good rain totals out there, especially out in the mountains, Mount Laguna uh, to be exact. So they almost got about eight-tenths of an inch of rain, so it was pretty good out there. And here's when it, most of it picked up. Right around 1 p.m., it started to pick up in activity and just right again, right along the mountains, the desert. So, any of the areas of red that you see, the yellow that you see, that's pretty strong water, water that came down. Some thunderstorms with that. And of course, lightning came with that. So, some people did get a light show out there. It was about 140 right, lightning strikes reported. So, here are those rain totals. We're looking at Palomar Mountain, about two tenths of an inch, seven tenths for Julian, almost eight tenths there in Mount Laguna. The rest of the area, though, nothing measurable popping up on any of the. Um, the precipitation radars out there because it, it just was hit or miss with these thunderstorms. It's very spotty. So here's where it all came from that monsoonal moisture out there in the desert southwest. It did pick up, and guess what? It's all moving away. So it's going to leave us alone, which means we're going to see our temperatures get back to normal pretty soon. We're going to see our uh, skies clearing up pretty well, especially for those of you in the mountains who maybe didn't want to see the, the lightning and the thunder. I know we sure needed that precipitation, so we did get some of it. We are not going to see any more, though after this all leaves us alone. So what we are going to see is a nice change in our weather pattern a bit as this cold front comes down from Northern California. Up in the Pacific Northwest, there's this low and this uh, cold front that's heading down towards us. But all that means for us is a drop in our temperatures just a bit and this drier air that's headed to Southern California. So you can expect any of the green on our radar to disappear pretty much for the next uh, few days especially. So that rain cloud forecast for the rest of the night. There may be some clouds out there. The green that you're seeing here on the map, that's just Virga. It's sitting up in the clouds. Not going to see it drop down to the ground at all. And by morning time, you can expect to see maybe Maybe some areas of some patchy fog, some cloud coverage along the coast. But pretty much for the rest of the day, nice looking skies for us. Our temperature forecast in the morning, right around the low 70s for San Diego, La Mesa 71, 69 uh, in Ramona. And by the midday tomorrow, temperature is going to be down in the low 80s, right around La Ramona and Santee. And then looking along the coast, 79 for Chula Vista, 76 for those of you in Carlsbad. So fairly average temperatures for us. Leading into Wednesday night, temperatures will cool off a bit in the upper 60s, low 70s. And by Thursday, you can see those temperatures picking up again into the low 80s. So it's going to be fairly average where we should be for this time of year. As far as the surf goes, ah, looking pretty poor conditions out there. One to two foot swells and high tide coming in right around noontime, about six feet for you. Here's your seven-day forecast. Let's show you what's happening. After the mess we had out there today in the mountains, it looks like things are pretty calm and clear for us. We may see some early morning clouds, especially along the coast, but temperatures right there in the upper 70s. So it's going to feel very pleasant. Look at the Inland conditions. We're going to see sunshine, temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, so it's going to feel pretty nice for you. The weekend inland, sunny skies. The coast is really going to get the cloud coverage this coming weekend, but that's about it. Look at everyone else looking like nothing but sunshine along the mountains, temperatures in the low to mid 80s for most of the week, and we are going to see those triple digits in the desert, triple digits all the way through as temperatures reach 105 and 106. So we are glad that at least the coast is going to be nice and cloudy and cool. That's the place to kind of hang out if you get too hot. Jim. Sounds good. We'll take your advice. All right. Oh, I'll head to the coast. <laughs> All right. Netta, thank you.